Singapore, uh, 5.1 kilometers and uh, 61 laps. Uh, will be very interesting just because it will be my first race uh, during the night. I think it's a very difficult track for a new driver because again it's a street circuit. I would say maybe even more difficult than, than Monaco. Uh, the speed, average speed is low and the track is quite bumpy even if they resurfaced the last couple of times and uh, it has been improving and uh, a lot of corners and very difficult to, uh, to remember and to get used to the track. So the simulation work I think is uh, crucial uh, for us with, uh, with Pastor here. I would say the main point is uh, again is confidence on the driver and trying to keep a concentration for the qualifying and, and race distance. Uh, I love the street circuit. So let's see what we can do there and I, I will try to do my best and to, to be very competitive. Because it's a night race, our whole uh, timing is out of sync. So we go, end up going to work at four o'clock in the afternoon and coming home at six o'clock in the morning. I personally like it because I can fly in at the last minute, don't get any jet lag and fly back to England. So you come back very fresh, having been in Asia for three or four days. All the teams think that the, the people behind the Grand Prix at Singapore have done such a fantastic job on the circuit. They, they have taken the, the whole event to a new level. Uh, they're really moving Formula One on and, and setting new baselines.